Welcome to Slash Forward. In this episode, we're going to dip our toes into some Korean horror with the 2016 film The Wailing. If you are here looking for holistic remedies to your itchy, weeping rash, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get to it. We open on jung Gu, a local police sergeant, waking at dawn due to the report of a deceased woman in town. When he arrives on scene, he's led past the perp to the brutalized remains of the two victims, which provides early indications the cause of death was not natural causes. An unusual scene for this small village. We then transition to a man in the woods, playing finders keepers with a bitchin' deer carcass, before pulling a Chris Farley down the side of the mountain. He regains consciousness to the sight of a stranger in the woods, adorned with only a loincloth like a primitive chad, rummaging through his rucksack and partaking of the flesh. This strange animal man senses he's being watched, as is his preference, and sneaks up on the old chap before we snap back to the station where we learn this is a bit of local folklore recounted by the sergeant's deputy, Song Bak. He's using the story about a stranger who recently arrived in town to explain the bizarre, violent behavior attributed to the recent murderers. But Zhang Gu confirms it's likely the result of consuming some local mushrooms. Song Bak, however, is a huge advocate of psychedelics, and insists they wouldn't cause that type of reaction because, like, they come from the earth, man. Things worsen the next night when Zhang Gu arrives at a house fire where a disgruntled victim is in the process of losing her damn mind, and lightly ravages him. As he regains his composure, he makes note that the stranger is in the crowd watching. The plot thickens the next morning as the same woman is found hanging in front of the charred remains of her abode. In addition, the three victims found inside died from stab wounds rather than asphyxiation, and the recent murder suspects have all been found to be covered in itchy red boils. As Song Bak goes to check with the local dermatologist, Zhang Gu tries to get him some relaxation time at the crime scene as a young woman very annoyingly peppers his general vicinity with stones. She presents herself as a witness to the crime and warns him to steer clear of the stranger because he's a ghost. But then she disappears Appears, making it seem like it is she who is the one who is a ghost. When he searches for her, he catches sight of something strange in the trees that looks like, yeah, it's the stranger, he is getting into something there. But then he wakes up, but we do learn quickly that his report of confronting a witness did happen in reality. They go to visit the mountain victim who asserts his account of the woodland confrontation is true and presents evidence. He also points them in the general direction of the stranger's cottage. The next morning, as Zhongu's daughter Hyojin begins behaving abnormally, his mother-in-law resolves to order the services of a local shaman. The officers then arrive at the stranger's house with Song Bak's cousin, who speaks Japanese. The house is mostly empty, save for a couple of very active shrine rooms, one for the gods and one for their human victims. When the dog gets loose and the stranger returns, they slink out, hoping to avoid any trouble from their illegal activities. Song Bak is in a daze about the sheer volume of victims he saw, and reveals he found one of Hyojin's trainers among the personal effects. When Zhongu questions her later, she lets him know that the deets are on a need-to-know basis. Dad. Confident that he's found ample evidence of her possession, they put a rush on the shaman, while he goes back out to bust some heads. The photo booth is now empty, and when asked his purpose, the stranger intimates that they wouldn't understand. Zhong Gu presses further, but when ignored, ends up popping off with a pickaxe. This results in an unfortunate confrontation with the dog, and then he gives the stranger three days to leave town. The next day, we learn of another family annihilation, and that the suspect Park Chun Bei has gone missing. As things worsen with Hyo Jin, the shaman prepares the house for a ritual as the stranger prepares his body for a ritual of his own, which appears to include the corpse of Park Chun Bei. The evening then unfolds in two distinctly different ways at these separate locations. For everyone, except the chickens. As things reach a crescendo and we see both Hyo Jin and the stranger are physically suffering, the ritual is cut off early, negating its effectiveness. With Hyo Jin in the hospital and a rejection of help from the father, he decides to verify with his own eyes whether the stranger is indeed a ghost. So he gathers up the boys for backup and they load up their best weapons but they find the cottage empty again. They do find Park Chun wandering around in the woods. In their attempts to separate him from their faces in the ensuing confrontation, they learn that compassion is their weakness, as is also their physical weakness. They're only saved by happenstance due to the body's amazing capacity for spontaneous reconfiguration. They then spot and chase the stranger through the woods, but the trail runs cold. In his injured state, he finds himself pursued by the witness. The men drive home in the rain, dejected that they failed to find their alleged tormentor. Until he drops in on them, and it seems kinda like he's not a demon or ghost. But with Hyojin on the mend, it also seems like everything worked out for the best regardless. So sorry you had to die. The shaman arrives at their house that evening and suffers some violent bodily effusions. The witness emerges from the shadows and drives him away. He flees but then thinks to call Zhang Gu and warn him that he misaimed his hex, because the culprit is a young woman rather than the stranger. He rushes home and finds the young woman outside, and she warns him that the stranger and shaman are working together to trick
trick him. She also alerts him that she set a trap for them, but if he goes back to his house now, his whole family will die. Meanwhile, the deacon has returned to the mountain cottage and found a reborn version of the stranger hiding in a nearby cave. Despite his attempts to convince him he's not a ghost due to his ample flesh and bone, the deacon insists that he show him his true form. And as Zhang rushes into his home, breaking the trap, we get some evidence that the stranger may have had something to do with these unfortunate events. The shaman then arrives to snap some pictures of the scene and add them to the collection. The Wailing was a highly regarded horror film and is definitely worth checking out. Clocking in at two and a half hours, there are tons of layers and subtext that I couldn't include here. Korean horror films are generally held up as unflinchingly brutal in most cases. So if you're squeamish, this is a good place to start since it's not. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love for you to become a part of the channel by subscribing. Thanks for watching.